Good afternoon, Scarview 142 Cohibas Puro Dominicana. Pretty good cigar. I will just start out by saying I'm not normally a Cohiba fan. I think across the board, they're generally some of the more overpriced cigars that are out there. Uh, but I do like this one. It's a five and a half inch 50 ring gauge. Puro, of course, meaning that it's all Dominican. So the binder, the wrapper, the filler, all Dominican. You see a lot of filler and binder come out of the Dominican, not as much wrapper leaf. So that's kind of nice uh, that they have that. And apparently it was aged in bourbon barrels, which, you know, maybe I could trick my brain into thinking that I taste it, but I probably really don't. What I do taste, really neat notes up front of chocolate, primarily chocolate, maybe a little bit of cedar. And as I get into it, a real slight, and I mean slight coffee taste to it. And I actually get a little bit of orange, almost like a citrus peel, which I really like. The other note that I got for just a couple minutes, I was pretty strong for a couple minutes, was real bitter chocolate. Kind of the chocolate you put into maybe some sort of baking concoction, but you wouldn't really want to actually eat. Wasn't bad, just was a little bit unusual. It's a burning, at this point, pretty much perfectly evenly. I haven't had to touch it up. There was a moment at the beginning where it looked like, oh no, this is going to go south. But everything's good. The complaint that I have, and I'm going to caveat it in a second, is that... I mean, it's like, you know, trying to suck a golf ball through a garden hose. It's hard to draw on this thing. Here's my caveat. I think I probably should have taken a little bit more off. Um, and by little, I mean like... A sixteenth of an inch maybe would have made a difference. Maybe it wouldn't have made any difference at all. But uh, that's where we're at. So it does draw a little bit tight. But it's got a good taste. It's a good cigar. I mean, I would, you know, if you took the wrapper off this and took the wrapper off of one of the Victor Sinclair's or something that's in the 3 to $4 range, I would definitely pick this out and say, yeah, this is a better cigar. It is $7 a cigar. So at this price range... I would give it a neutral rating because at $7, it's not bad. It's not a bad cigar in any way whatsoever. But at 7 bucks, there's a lot of stuff that I can think of that I'd probably rather have. You know, Henry, Henry Clay stock that comes to mind and a few others. But again, not a bad cigar at all. I like it. But I would go with a neutral rating based solely on the price. Um, thank you for watching the channel. I'm nearing 150 videos here sitting out in the freezing cold to do this review and it really does mean a lot when people comment so if you watch the whole video please let me know let me know what you think as always thank you for watching